CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 11 Algebra Page 226 Part 2 Exercise 11.1 1. Find the rule which gives the number of matchsticks required to make the following matchstick patterns. Use a variable to write the rule. A. A pattern of letter T as T. B. A pattern of letter Z as Z. Page 227. C. A pattern of letter U as U. D. A pattern of letter V as V. E. A pattern of letter E as E. F. A pattern of letter S as S. G. A pattern of letter A as A. 2. We already know the rule for the pattern of letters L, C and F. Some of the letters from question 1, given above, give us the same rule as that given by L. Which are these? Why does this happen? 3. Cadets are marching in a parade. There are five cadets in a row. What is the rule which gives the number of cadets, given the number of rows? Use N for the number of rows. 4. If there are 50 mangoes in a box, how will you write the total number of mangoes in terms of the number of boxes? Use B for the number of boxes. 5. The teacher distributes five pencils per student. Can you tell how many pencils are needed, given the number of students? Use S for the number of students. 6. A bird flies one kilometer in one minute. Can you express the distance covered by the bird in terms of its flying time in minutes? Use T for flying time in minutes. 7. Radha is drawing a dot rangoli a beautiful pattern of lines joining dots, with chalk powder. She has nine dots in a row. How many dots will her rangoli have for R rows? How many dots are there if there are eight rows? If there are ten rows? 8. Leela is Radha's younger sister. Leela is four years younger than Radha. Can you write Leela's age in terms of Radha's age? Take Radha's age to be X years. 9. Mother has made laddus. She gives some laddus to guests and family members. Still, five laddus remain. If the number of laddus mother gave away is L, how many laddus did she make? 10. Oranges are to be transferred from larger boxes into smaller boxes. When a large box is emptied, the oranges from it fill two smaller boxes and still ten oranges remain outside. If the number of oranges in a small box are taken to be X, what is the number of oranges in the larger box? 11. A. Look at the following matchstick pattern of squares. Figure 11.6. The squares are not separate. Two neighboring squares have a common matchstick. Observe the patterns and find the rule that gives the number of matchsticks in terms of the number of squares. Hint, if you remove the vertical stick at the end, you will get a pattern of C's. Page 228 B. Figure 11.7 .7 gives a matchstick pattern of triangles. As in exercise 11a above, find the general rule that gives the number of matchsticks in terms of the number of triangles. 11.6. Use of variables in common rules. Let us now see how certain common rules in mathematics that we have already learned are expressed using variables. Rules from geometry. We have already learnt about the perimeter of a square and of a rectangle in the chapter on mensuration. Here we go back to them to write them in the form of a rule. 1. 
perimeter of a square. We know that perimeter of any polygon, a closed figure made up of three or more line segments, is the sum of the lengths of its sides. A square has four sides and they are equal in length. Figure 11.8 Therefore, the perimeter of a square is equal to sum of the lengths of the sides of the square, which is equal to four times the length of a side of the square, which is equal to four multiplied by L equal to 4L. Thus, we get the rule for the perimeter of a square. The use of the variable L allows us to write the general rule in a way that is concise and easy to remember. We may take the perimeter also to be represented by a variable, say P. Then the rule for the perimeter of a square is expressed as a relation between the perimeter and the length of the square. P is equal to 4L. 2. Perimeter of a rectangle we know that a rectangle has four sides. For example, the rectangle ABCD has four sides, AB, BC, CD and DA. The opposite sides of any rectangle are always equal in length. Thus, in the rectangle ABCD, let us denote by L the length of the sides AB or CD and by B the length of the sides AD or BC. Therefore, Perimeter of a rectangle is equal to length of AB plus length of BC plus length of CD plus length of AD, which is equal to 2 multiplied by length of CD plus 2 multiplied by length of BC, which is equal to 2L plus 2B. The rule therefore is that the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2L plus 2B, where L and B are respectively the length and breadth of the rectangle. Discuss what happens if L is equal to B. If we denote the perimeter of the rectangle by the variable P, the rule for perimeter of a rectangle becomes P is equal to 2L plus 2B. Note, here both L and B are variables. They take on values independent of each other. That is, the value one variable takes does not depend on what value the other variable has taken. In your studies of geometry, you will come across several rules and formulas dealing with perimeters and areas of plane figures and surface areas and volumes of three-dimensional figures. Also, you may obtain formulas for the sum of internal angles of a polygon, the number of diagonals of a polygon and so on. The concept of variables which you have learned will prove very useful in writing all such general rules and formulas. Rules from Arithmetic 3. Commutativity of addition of two numbers We know that 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 and 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. That is, 4 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 4. As we have seen in the chapter on whole numbers, this is true for any two numbers. This property of numbers is known as the commutativity of addition of numbers. Commuting means interchanging. Commuting the order of numbers in addition does not change the sum. The use of variables allow us to express the generality of this property in a concise way. Let A and B be two variables which can take any number value. Then, A plus B is equal to B plus A. Once we write the rule this way, all special cases are included in it. If A is equal to 4 and B is equal to 3, we get 4 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 4. If A is equal to 37 and B is equal to 73, we get 37 plus 73 is equal to 73 plus 37 and so on. 4. Commutativity of multiplication of two numbers. We have seen in the chapter on whole numbers that for multiplication of two numbers, the order of the two numbers being multiplied does not matter. Page 230. For example, 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. 
3 multiplied by 4 is equal to 12. Hence, 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4. This property of numbers is known as commutativity of multiplication of numbers. Commuting, that is, interchanging, the order of numbers in multiplication does not change the product. Using variables a and b, as in the case of addition, we can express the commutativity of multiplication of two numbers as a multiplied by b is equal to b multiplied by a. Note that a and b can take any number value. They are variables. All the special cases like 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 or 37 multiplied by 73 is equal to 73 multiplied by 37 follow from the general rule. 5. Distributivity of numbers Suppose we are asked to calculate 7 multiplied by 38. We obviously do not know the table of 38, so we do the following. 7 multiplied by 38 is equal to 7 multiplied by, within brackets, 30 plus 8, which is equal to 7 multiplied by 30 plus 7 multiplied by 8, which is equal to 210 plus 56, which is equal to 266. This is always true for any three numbers like 7, 30 and 8. This property is known as distributivity of multiplication over addition of numbers. By using variables, we can write this property of numbers also in a general and concise way. Let A, B and C be three variables, each of which can take any number. Then, A multiplied by, in brackets, B plus C, is equal to A multiplied by B plus A multiplied by C. Properties of numbers are fascinating. You will learn many of them in your study of numbers this year and in your later study of mathematics. Use of variables allows us to express these properties in a very general and concise way. One more property of numbers is given in question 5 of exercise 11.2. Try to find more such properties of numbers and learn to express them using variables. Exercise 11.2 1. The side of an equilateral triangle is shown by L. Express the perimeter of the equilateral triangle using L. 2. The side of a regular hexagon, figure 11.10, is denoted by L. Express the perimeter of the hexagon using L. Hint. A regular hexagon has all its six sides equal in length. 3. A cube is a three-dimensional figure as shown in figure 11.11. It has six faces and all of them are identical squares. The length of an edge of the cube is given by L. Find the formula for the total length of the edges of a cube. Page 231 4. The diameter of a circle is a line which joins two points on the circle and also passes through the center of the circle. In the adjoining figure, figure 11.12, AB is a diameter of the circle. C is its center. Express the diameter of the circle, D, in terms of its radius, R. 5. To find sum of three numbers, 14, 27 and 13, we can have two ways. A. We may first add 14 and 27 to get 41 and then add 13 to it to get the total sum 54. Or B. We may add 27 and 13 to get 40 and then add 14 to get the sum 54. Thus, within brackets, 14 plus 27 plus 13 is equal to 14 plus, within brackets, 27 plus 13. This can be done for any three numbers. This property is known as the associativity of addition of numbers. Express this property, which we have already studied in the chapter on whole numbers, in a general way by using variables a, b and c. 11.7
expressions with variables. Recall that in arithmetic we have come across expressions like within brackets 2 multiplied by 10 plus 3, 3 multiplied by 100 plus in brackets 2 multiplied by 10 plus 4 etc. These expressions are formed from numbers like 2, 3, 4, 10, 100 and so on. To form expressions, we use all the four number operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. For example, to form within brackets 2 multiplied by 10 plus 3, we have multiplied 2 by 10 and then added 3 to the product. Examples of some of the other arithmetic expressions are 3 plus in brackets 4 multiplied by 5 8 minus in brackets 7 multiplied by 2 in brackets 6 multiplied by 2 minus 5 7 plus in brackets 8 multiplied by 2 in brackets minus 3 multiplied by 40 plus 5 14 minus in brackets 5 minus 2 in brackets 5 multiplied by 7 minus in brackets 3 multiplied by 4 in brackets 5 multiplied by 7 minus in brackets 3 multiplied by 4 minus 7 etc expressions can be formed from variables too in fact we already have seen expressions with variables for example 2n 5m x plus 10, x minus 3, etc. These expressions with variables are obtained by operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on variables. For example, the expression 2n is formed by multiplying the variable n by 2. The expression x plus 10 is formed by adding 10 to the variable x and so on. We know that variables can take different values. They have no fixed value, but they are numbers. That is why, as in the case of numbers, operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division can be done on them. One important point must be noted regarding the expressions containing variables. A number expression like, in brackets, 4 multiplied by 3 plus 5, can be immediately evaluated as in brackets 4 multiplied by 3 plus 5 is equal to 12 plus 5 is equal to 17. Page 232 But an expression like in brackets 4x plus 5 which contains the variable x cannot be evaluated. Only if x is given some value an expression like 4x plus 5 can be evaluated. For example, when x is equal to 3, 4x plus 5 is equal to, in brackets, 4 multiplied by 3 plus 5 is equal to 17, as found above. Expression, how formed? A. Y plus 5. 5 added to Y. B. T minus 7. 7 subtracted from T. C. 10A. A multiplied by 10. D. X upon 3. X divided by 3. E. Minus 5Q. Q multiplied by minus 5. F. 3X plus 2. First, X multiplied by 3, then 2 added to the product. G. 2y minus 5. First y multiplied by 2, then 5 subtracted from the product. Write 10 other such simple expressions and tell how they have been formed. We should also be able to write an expression through given instruction about how to form it. Look at the following example. Give expressions for the following. A. 12 subtracted from Z. Z minus 12. B. 25 added to R. R plus 25. C. P multiplied by 16. 16P. 
d y divided by 8 y upon 8 e m multiplied by minus 9 minus 9 m f y multiplied by 10 and then 7 added to the product 10 y plus 7 g n multiplied by 2 and 1 subtracted from the product 2 n minus 1 Sarita and Amina decide to play a game of expressions. They take the variable x and the number 3 and see how many expressions they can make. The condition is that they should use not more than one out of the four number operations and every expression must have x in it. Can you help them? Sarita thinks of x plus 3. Then Amina comes up with x minus 3. Is 3x plus 5 allowed? Is 3x plus 3 allowed? Page 233. Next, she suggests 3x. Sarita then immediately makes x upon 3. Are these the only four expressions that they can get under the given condition? Next, they try combinations of y, 3 and 5. The condition is that they should use not more than one operation of addition or subtraction and one operation of multiplication or division. Every expression must have y in it. Check if their answers are right. In the following exercise, we shall look at how few simple expressions have been formed y plus 5, y plus 3, y minus 5, y minus 3, 3y, 5y, y upon 3, y upon 5, 3y plus 5, 3y minus 5, 5y plus 3, 5y minus 3. Can you make some more expressions? Is y upon 3 plus 5 allowed? Is y plus 8 allowed? Is 15y allowed? You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET. NCERT, New Delhi, India.